was our first day at work in a reputed company in New Delhi. Everyone had to introduce themselves. Singh, Tiwari, Gorpare, Venkat, Reti, Rathor had just finished the introduction and my turn came. As I stood up, everyone stares at me like I'm a foreigner. Hi guys, I'm Zeleng Rong from Nagaland, I said, with excitement and pride. But soon that excitement was mirrored with disappointment. It is not them who got disappointed, but it is me. I never thought that self-introduction can be disappointing as such. Where is Nagaland? Never heard of it before. Is it in China? They ask. Now the disappointment is turning into anger, but I tried my pace to calm down my head hunting blood boiling inside me. I put on a fake smile and replied, No, it is a state in northeastern part of India. Realizing that they had been ignorant and unaware, they tried to outsmart me. Oh, Acha, so you are from Nagaland, the capital of Manipur? We know Mary Com, they replied back. Thank God, at least they remember Mary Com. And they ought to know that because she is not just a national figure, but she is an international figure after all. Now I have understood that they know nothing or very little about a state in the northeastern part of India. They are blind hitting me, partly guessing, but sadly guessing it wrong. These people are not just kids of five or six standards. They are graduates ready to join the workforce of the country. I don't feel sorry for myself because they don't know where I come from. But I feel sorry for them, my friends with whom I am going to work together for many years from now on. Because they don't know that there are states called Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Sikkim and Tripura. And that these are Indian states. I realize if they don't even fully know the name of the states of India, it will be too much to expect from them to know the capital of these eight northeastern states. It takes me back to my childhood memories where I was taught to memorize all the Indian states and their respective capitals in my fourth grade GK book. I also remember trying to learn by heart the spelling of each state and capital. Thiruvananthapuram was the hardest. I have spelled it wrong many times and got enough beatings from a never forgiving GK teacher. And that's why I grew up hating Kerala because it has the longest and the hardest capital to spell and pronounce. I also remember in my 8, 9 and 10 grades geography and history subject where I had to draw the map of India and point out some specific historic and geographic location in the map. Even today, drawing a map of India and locating some important places in it is still a hundred person compulsory question in the board exam. Thanks to my state board education system, where I was given the holistic education, I was taught not only about the history of Northeast India, but about the country as a whole. And this thought makes me wonder, how come they don't even know the name of the Northeastern states like Nagaland? Mizoram or Manipur. How could they graduate without even fully knowing the names of all the states and union territories of India? This led me to further curiosity. Is Northeast India never included in their syllabus? At least geography or social science subject should I have mentioned it. These eight northeastern states may not be as big as the other states, 
of the country, but they surely are Indian states, best out with beautiful hills and mountains, and home to more than 45 million unique and beautiful Indians. I was then woken up from my pensive thought when a colleague of mine from behind shouted at me, Oi, Nagalin kya soch raha hai? I turned back and smiled and enlightened them. Bro, Nagalin is not the capital of Manipur. You guys have been terribly wrong. Both are the name of the Indian states. Kohima is the capital of Naglan and Imphal is the capital of Manipur. By the way, I have been lying to you guys. Jaleng Rong is not even my name. It is the name of my tribe. Dindron is my name. <laughs> 